Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the Phillips Film Baby Journey. I'm Raquel. I'm Derek. And today, where are we going, baby? Paris, France. Yes, for our baby moon, and we are super excited. Obviously, we got a lot of stuff we need to do before we go. One thing is my hair. <laughs> Next thing is pack. <laughs> yeah, we haven't packed absolutely anything. But it's about 9.30 in the morning. Our flight is until 4.40. We're going to get everything handled. We got to take the dog to play, drop her off at Borden, do my hair. He got to get a haircut. Got to go to the dry cleaners. <laughs> I got to go to Walmart. We have a million and one things to do before this flight. But we ain't going to be late for that flight, baby. Nah, we're going to make it. And we're going to take y'all with us on our journey. So stay tuned. All right, we're finally headed to the airport. Well, almost kind of finally hit it there. <laughs> In that direction. We got to go take our dog to play first. But we all packed up. We're about 15 minutes behind. But when I make our schedule, I always put extra time in there. Just because I know stuff happened. Honey, because that <laughs> we were supposed to leave at 1.15. It is 1.29. Um... Hubby didn't even get back to the house until like one o'clock from running his errands. So I was kind of like, okay, he got 15 minutes to get back here before we supposed to leave. Where is he at? But he made it. And the haircut look good. Of course, of course. You didn't want to go to Paris. <laughs> Let you go so long. All right, we are finally on the airport shuttle. Made it to the airport. It's set up at the airport and paying seventy dollars, and that's with the coupon. We parked the Embassy Suites and it was only $35. So from Wednesday to Monday, $35. As soon as we parked, pretty much the shuttle was full enough, so we didn't even have to wait. Perfect so, time. Yeah, so just a tip. If you don't be traveling, look and see if you can find cheaper parking at the hotels instead of the airports. <laughs> Made it through the checkpoint. Now we stumbled across this gym, Garrett's popcorn. Then from Gary, I didn't know it was one in the airport. About to get some. Gonna we'll have some snacks for the plane. Got some Garrett. So you know, next time you travel international at DFW, stop by Garrett's. Get some popcorn. Yeah. Up at Papa Do's in the airport because we still had about an hour before our flight. We're about to get our smash on before this plane take off. Finally on the plane and it's hot off here. I'm about to have me out like a light, a hey, like a light slept through my flight. Bonjour. Bonjour. We have finally made it to Paris. We've checked into our hotel and it's gorgeous. Love our room. It's small, but it's Europe, so everything is small. Yeah. Um, all right, this is our bedroom area. Like I said, small, but I love the decorations, but especially that wallpaper. Got a little desk. In Europe, they have different charging outlets. So we did bring one adapter, but luckily for our phones, they also have USB adapters. Have some water over here. Um, we're on the ground level floor, but nice big windows that can open. Flat screen TV, a little picture here. Got a little luggage stand, but we have this nice armoire that we can store our items in. I have went ahead and put just stuff, all our luggage and stuff in there for the moment. We'll get some of that stuff unpacked. Got some slippers in here. Um, got a request some robes. It comes, the rooms come with robes, but they let us check in early. Our check-in time wasn't initially until 3 o'clock. Um, it's probably around 11-ish, not even 11, huh? 10.30. Are you sure it's 10.30? Um, here's our shower. The shower and the toilet separate. Nice white and bright subway towel. Have one of those overhead rainfall shower heads. Towel warming rack. Let's keep them toasty. I love the print and the towel on the floor. Our room has hardwood floors on it. The toilet is in a separate room. Nothing too fancy, but same subway towel and floor print. And that's our room. That's it. But the lobby is absolutely adorable. Just like my adorable husband over here. What up? We're staying at a hotel called Adele and Jules. It's Two hotels that are identical. One side is Jules and the other side is Adele. But 
how it looks when you initially walk in here. Nice artwork, vibrant. Bonjour. Nice little lounge area. So breakfast and snacks and things over here. And our room is back this way. All right, we freshened up. We had to come out and get something to eat. So we're at a place called Le Croissant Terry. I probably mispronounced it, but we got some chocolate croissants and some fresh squeezed orange juice that we're about to enjoy. Oh Lord, I am extremely out of breath. We are on top of the Art Day Triumph. I took the elevator up. <laughs> it only had to walk 46 stairs, but baby, I almost died. <laughs> But we have beautiful views of the city from up here. Got the Eiffel Tower right there in the back. Kind of a cloudy day out here, but the high today is going to be 65 degrees. It's, I think, around maybe noon, 12.30ish or so right now. Um, so it's warming up, but right now I still got my winter coat on because I like it hot, baby. I'm about to go up in this Louis Vuitton flagship store, try to convince the husband to buy me my push gift early. I'll let y'all know if I'm successful with my uh, convincing skills or not. It's a full house up in the Louis Vuitton store. I don't know how much personalized service I get compared to at home, but I'm going to check out these prices, see if they're a little bit better or worse. But this store got levels. It's like three levels in this store. And I like this little heart purse, huh? that's something I haven't seen, but I don't know about this strap. The ceiling inside this Louis Vuitton store is a work of art in itself. We didn't know it was going to be in the Ralph Lauren store, um, but very romantic restaurant, great ambiance, a great way to end day one in Paris. Take a little zoom around, babe. Show me the fireplace. Got roses on the table. Got roses and candlelight. Very nice romantic. <laughs> What's up, everyone? It's our first night in Paris. Uh, the flight over was pretty smooth. I got to, I didn't sleep that well. I couldn't get comfortable, but we got here. We did a little sightseeing, went to some monuments. Then we had to eventually, after we ate our pizza, got some official French pizza, we went to take a nap. And now we recharge. Now we're back out at dinner at the Ralph, Ralph Lauren uh, restaurant. That's, that's pretty good burgers here. Now we're about to go out and continue our night on the town. Stay tuned. It is morning time in Paris and today we are going to take the adventure of taking the train. Yesterday we took Uber everywhere but today we're going to get on this train and hopefully we don't get lost. First stop is the Eiffel Tower. I'm on first freight in Paris. Yeah he was brave enough to try some French cuisine. I'm not I've never had Nutella. I've had crepes before but it means not, not bad. Excuse me, you speak English. We have made it to the Eiffel Tower. Of course, I bought my tickets in advance, so it's like virtually no line for us to get in for our 11 o'clock reservation. Versus, let me see if I can get all these people. It's a super long line for the people who ain't got tickets, but I ain't one of them because I paid in advance. Wow. 
This is a view from the top of the Eiffel Tower. Got a little soccer field down there. So it's pretty hazy out here. I don't know if that, and it's almost noon, so it should not be this hazy. Um, so this may be pollution. <laughs> I'm not quite sure. Summit, the top of the Eiffel Tower, toasting to my beautiful wife. We're here in Paris, celebrating her first European trip. Be a good trip. Excellent. Get me some rose while I'm up here. The most expensive glass rose ever, 18 euros. It's like $21 in US dollars. <laughs> yeah. We are back in an Uber. <laughs> and I just want Cardi B to know that she's international. She already know that anyway, but I wasn't expecting to hear please me <laughs> in the car over here in France. Lollipopping, twerking, and some J's. <laughs> Found a little cafe that's about six minutes away from the Louvre, which is where we're headed. And <laughs> I can't say that I'm super happy with our lunch. Have you ordered a chicken wok? It looks pretty good. And we're gonna see if it look if it tastes good. I ordered a chicken club thinking that it was gonna be a grilled chicken breast, but it's actually just chicken lunch meat and these french fries honey like, like they extra greasy not gonna be good but i'm gonna try to eat this and if it don't work out i'm gonna be looking for a croissant i tried to get the hubby to order some escargot but he punked out next on time, me y'all heard me said next time so y'all see him eat a snail for get dinner snail <laughs> we are in an art gallery that we saw walking on our way to the louvre and it's just some interesting art. So now you see a nun. <laughs> now you see a breastfeeding nun. <laughs> Got Barbie riding uh, balloon animals. <laughs> Pregnant nun. Regular nun. <laughs> or is it, and, that may, and that's actually Barbie as a nun. But cool art in here. It was a photo like this that made us come in because it's dimensional, so it changes. <laughs> and it makes like, you know, it, like you're seeing a different view, but it's the same photo and it's so cool. This picture is rich. So you see a nun, but it's made up <laughs> of collages of booties and underwear. Somebody look free. I had my husband pop into a McDonald's because I just wanted to see what was different on the menu. And they got a whole bakery in the McDonald's. See this McCafe. This is part of McDonald's. Get some macaroons, croissants. Cheesecake. That's cheesecake back there? Show sure is. The U.S. need to set their game up, man. <laughs> we have finally made it to the Louvre. You see that pyramid back there? Mm -hmm. You see that? You see that? <laughs> our appointment is not until 3.30. Well, our reservations, we have a guided audio tour. We got a couple minutes to kill before we go up in there, so I thought I'd make a video to let you know kind of what's going on over here. Paris has been beautiful so far. We've had great weather. I'm out here looking like I'm a member of the Black Panther with this beret that I bought at the Eiffel Tower in my sunglasses. I took off my leather jacket, so. <laughs> but still. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, that chicken club sandwich actually was good. I took off the tomatoes. I said a prayer that I wasn't going to get Listeria eating that lunch meat because they lunch me not eat supposed to be warmed up. And obviously that was not. But we ain't going to die. <laughs> um, baby liked his noodles and rice. That's chicken wok. It's pretty good. And he had a long gone iced tea. I was a pregnant lady looking at him all jealous like, oh. If I could just have a sip. Drink it for the bowl. <laughs> Travel tip. If you're going to come to the Louvre, come on a Friday at about 3, 3.30. Literally, we walked right on in. No wait at all whatsoever. But that's how I planned it because I'm a planner. Wow. So we're inside Napoleon III's apartment. 
a replica of it. And this baby is ornate. I thought I had some nice chandeliers in my house. <laughs> that don't even compare. <laughs> Can we say dinner service for 40? I have finally found Legacy's crib for her room. <laughs> Fit for royalty. Got harp strings on it. <laughs> for the most part, the Louvre has been pretty empty. But we're headed towards the Mona Lisa. And it's starting to get thick up in here. But we've seen some very cool stuff so far. Right now, we're in the Italian painting section. Nice ceiling in here. There's some beautiful ceilings in here. I highly recommend you come to the Louvre. All right, so way back there over all these people is the Mona Lisa. We're going to see how close I can get. We're getting closer. Honey, they got these ropes and barricades up. Can't really get that close. But there she is, the Mona Lisa. We are officially out of the Louvre, but when you come through the exit, it takes you right into the mall. And what do I spot? A Pandora store. And when I travel, I like to get charms for my bracelet that my best friend got me. So we'll see if I can find one for Paris. All right, we're gonna get a little yeah, to Eiffel Tower charm. Do we got this thing zoomed in or something? No wonder, I'm like, why is it so close? It's for yeah, we're gonna get busy, I tell you. Just bustling with energy and shops and snacks. <laughs> Let's see. It's red. I don't know about them chickens, though. <laughs> is that the rotisserie spot you wanna to come to? Ah, you need some champagne for the room. For you, because pregnant ladies don't drink. We are out to dinner, and they had a virgin sangria on the menu, so I had to Ooh. order it, and this explosion in my mouth is so delicious. Mm. Not quite the real thing, but it's gonna do. Cheers. We came all the way to France so that we could eat Tex-Mex food. <laughs> But I like what I like. And I like Mexican food. We are out here with the photographer. First stop was the Cathedral of Notre Dame. There's another couple with us from New York. That's a photographer in the green sweater. And look at how handsome my husband is. Look, as he picks <laughs> crap out of his eye. <laughs> but we got some blue skies. It's about 62 degrees today, but we should get some great pictures out here. You already saw the cathedral during the daytime when we came into our photo shoot, but here's a glimpse of it at night from the river. They're having a party over there. Get lit. <laughs> they had to come over there after we got off the boat. What's up right here? We're coming up on the Eiffel Tower in this gorgeous bridge. <laughs> there is a light show that happens here in about 10 minutes at the Eiffel Tower. Hopefully we'll be on the boat to capture it. It's about 10 a.m. on Sunday morning and we are headed to the Palace of Versailles. This bus ahead is our transportation there in back today. 
we have made it to the palace and as you can see they got gold gates around a second it's already beautiful just on the outside the group that we are with has skipped the line tickets and baby i'm glad we do because once again uh, a little bit of long long wait if we had to go through the regular security but i'll give you more footage once we get inside we are officially inside the palace it only took 15 minutes for us to get inside our tour guide went and got our tickets and our audio guide and we were right in instead of having to wait hours inside that line so if you come into the palace make sure you do a group and you do a skip the line ticket because it's worth it as y'all can see one of the bedrooms in the palace <laughs> Famous Hall of Mirrors. Beautiful chandeliers and obviously mirrors down the whole hallway. And mirror. I mean sorry, and windows that overlook the garden. Beautiful, beautiful room. The only thing that sucks about coming to Paris in early spring is that all the flowers have not bloomed yet. We are currently in the gardens at the Palace of Versailles and none of the flowers are planted yet. So you can't get the full effect of how gorgeous this is when there are flowers here. But we're gonna go and take a little walk around and still enjoy it anyway. We are on the, I guess, second level of the castle right there behind me so when we came out after our tour this is where we were at there's some gardens up here but then we came and looked over this balcony that we're on and saw that there is <laughs> quite an expansive entryway to this palace with more beautiful gardens lakes and ponds I would go down there but y'all see them stairs yeah I can go down them but ain't nobody trying to come back up them. So we just gonna see this from here. I have never had a macaroon, nor has my husband. And I know we've been showing you everything that we've been eating and most of it's been pretty much not Italian. I'm not Italian, we're not French food. But we do got a little something that we're gonna try today. I got a vanilla macaroon. Uh, raspberry. More exotic. You already out the bag first, though. So we're going to see how these macaroons are for the first time. Cheers. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Edible. You doing all the crazies about them? Edible, but I'm not impressed. Uh, I don't think I've been missing nothing by not having macaroon. But we got it from a place that you know this is pretty much makes them. We've been making it since 1859. So these are the macaroons to try. They are. But just wanted to share that experience with you guys. It's our last night in Paris. And we're having Italian for dinner tonight. We both got the same dish, lasagna, because I haven't eaten any meat all day. And I was like, oh, I probably need to get something with meat. <laughs> but hopefully it's delicious. And just like that, in the wee hours of the morning, we are saying au revoir to Paris. Our shuttle driver's here to take us to the airport. <laughs> so we'll see you back in the States.